Alrighty, hey everybody, it's Reed again. Um, I'm gonna go for PVCs today. Uh, if you like this content, or if you have any comments or questions or feedback, please feel free to contribute in that way. Um, we'd love to. You know, if you if you want to subscribe and get more, please. Um, we'd love that too. So let's jump into a PVC. So premature ventricular contractions, um, as the name suggests, is a premature beat that occurs in the ventricles. So let's talk about what that means. Let's first just start off by quickly reviewing our normal depolarization. We've got our SA node here. Typically, it'll fire off, depolarize the atria, which is creating our P wave, like so. The AV node is going to capture that signal. It's going to then, in 120 to 200 milliseconds, distribute that down into the ventricles creating our QRS, and we have our nice T wave. And so that is our typical kind of phases of um, electrical activity on EKG. And so usually um, the sinus node is what is driving atrial contraction down to ventricular uh, depolarization. And so because we have this nice his Purkinje system that our ventricles depolarize through, that's our highway system. It's that is what causes this QRS to be narrow. And so when a premature ventricular contraction occurs, there's an ectopic focus, I'm gonna do it in green, say right here, it could be anywhere, but you've got this cell in the ventricular, um, one of the ventricular cardiac cells that in a premature fashion, before the next beat occurs, fires off. And what does that do is it causes a wave of depolarization. And notice this wave of depolarization is not utilizing the his Purkinje system. That is what causes our QRS complexes to be nice and narrow and fast. It's taking cell to cell junctions to spread that depolarization wave. And so it takes a long time. Also notice that when this focus fires off, it is not firing off as a result of atrial contraction. So when we see this occur, which is our premature ventricular contraction, we do not have no P wave associated. We have a wide QRS. So what that will look like is you would have, say, first you'll have your normal beat here, got a normal QRS, T wave, and then you have an early beat that is this wide complex QRS, and then we've kind of got this funky looking T wave. And so this is our wide QRS PVC that occurs early. And then you might see, you know, the sinus node take back over and you have your normal beats. And so let's find an EKG rhythm strip that would demonstrate that. So here, we just have a rhythm that just shows a couple beats. We've got a normal beat here. We've got a normal beat here. And you've got this one, and I'm gonna call this a funky beat. And so if we look at our normal beats, we see we've got these pretty P waves. We've got our narrow QRS that is under 120 milliseconds. We've got this pretty T wave. And then we've got this funky looking beat right here. And if you measure that beat is wider than 120 milliseconds. And if you compare it to the previous beat, it's wider. So you can see that these ventricles are depolarizing slower than normal. You can notice that if you measure from this normal beat to the next normal beat, we would expect our next beat to occur right around here. However, this is occurring premature. And so let's evaluate that premature beat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see, is it wide or is it narrow? It just helps me kind of figure out, do I think this is a PVC versus P? AC or a P 
PJC. And if you're not familiar with those terms, go check out those videos. But here, this is a wide QRS. So we know that it could be either a PAC with a barency, or it could be a PVC. So how do I determine the difference? Well, I look in front of this QRS. So I look in front of this QRS and I say, is there a P wave? And I do not see one here. So I see no P's. And so we can then say that this wide complex QRS with this funky T wave, because we know that the, this is a PVC, we're going to say this is a PVC, and we know that PVCs don't follow the normal electrical conduction system, and so they're also going to have very kind of discordant T wave repolarization abnormalities. So this is a, a great example of a premature ventricular contraction. Hope that helps you identify the key features of a PVC and um, comment with any questions or concerns. Have a good day.